Hello everybody, I need to put my pen down. Um, so today we are going to be reviewing Sad Cypress. So sad. Sad, sad, sad. So, Sad Cypress is a um, Agatha Christie book that um, has Hercule Poirot. And um, this book is not, is not my favorite Agatha Christie book. So, um, there's that. One of the things that I don't like about it is, um, I mean, it's your typical Agatha Christie fair where you have a very small thing, not a small thing, but an important thing that is just brushed on in the first chapter that you don't hear about again until Poirot has his, um, little meeting at the end. Um, the thing about this book that annoyed me was how long it takes to get Poirot involved in it. And I know there are other Agatha Christie books that do this. Um, but for some reason this just seemed to take forever to get to it. And I don't know if it was because there wasn't any characters in it that I was into or anything like that, but it just took, it seemed like it took forever. Um, but the story here is, is that there are these two cousins that have decided they're going to marry each other. So no matter how the aunt's um, death, who their aunt is dying, when her death takes place, no matter who she leaves her money to, it'll go to um, either one of them or both of them or whatever. So it's just like kind of hedging their bets for their future. And... Um, they seem to like each other fine. Um, one maybe more than the other, but, you know, whatever. Um, and then when they go to visit their dying aunt, um, there is a young woman who is just, like, drop-dead gorgeous. And, um makes the dude fall in love with her. Not she makes him, but he falls in love with her. And so that kind of puts a bunch of, like, monkey wrenches in the plan. Um, but one of the interesting things about this book, too, um, and we'll get back to where I was, was that it opens in a courtroom during the murder trial. And, um, so that was kind of fun. And then, um, the aunt dies and everyone assumes that it was probably just her time because she was dying anyway. But, um, there are some circumstances that points to it may be something else. Um, so when the inheritance goes through and all this other stuff, things are just kind of as usual, but, um, Eleanor, the niece, um, is very upset with the young, beautiful woman who has, uh, made Roddy, um, fall for her with her beautiful looks, and her name is Mary, um, and 
she just starts like wishing death upon her. Um, and that's all I'll tell you. But the thing about this book that was very interesting is that instead of um, Poirot getting involved and then getting everyone together and having a big reveal, he is working for the attorneys of the person on trial for murder, and um, he basically gets a bunch of evidence to give to them, and then they do all of his, like, the, what do you call it, when he gets everyone together and, like, the conclusion, I don't know, whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. So anyhow, and then after that, after the trial, the book kind of goes on a little bit more, and, um, I understand having to wrap up all the loose ends and all that stuff, but I almost would rather the book just end at the trial because all the buildup is what's going to happen at the trial. And I know there were loose ends that need to be tied up, but um, I don't know why that annoys me so much. the tying up of loose ends, like, the last, like, however many pages it would have been. I was just like, alright, we're done. I think I just didn't care that much about the characters in this one. So, um, I gave it three stars on Goodreads, because it was good, but I wanted to read more of Poirot, and there wasn't a lot of them there, um, so, yeah, it was okay, it wasn't the worst book I've ever read, so if you like Agatha Christie, you'll probably like this book, um, and I think even if you never read, um, a Poirot book, and you weren't aware of him, this might be good, because, um, you don't get too much of them, if that makes sense. So, um, give it a go. Um, I can't remember if I've ever read an Agatha Christie book that I was just like, why did I do this? Um, so, yeah, it's not gonna hurt you at all. So, enjoy it, and take care, everybody.